Man down, man down. Coronavirus is in Kenya. <laughs> or rather, it's about to enter. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Aka Bands. I'm excited to be here with y'all. Hey, 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 hey. So you guys, um, big shout out to everybody who's you know, sent a message, who's commented, who has given a thumbs up to the few six people that give a thumbs down to everybody who subscribed. I appreciate you all. Thank you for coming to, you know, um, for encouraging me and showing me that, you know, my work, my work counts. All right. So everybody's been telling me, oh, they really like my last video. If you've not watched my last video, please go and watch it. It's the Peter Doce episode. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's bad manners. It's fact is a sin against God. If you're watching my videos and you're not sharing with your family and friends because it's the only you that is enjoying. Do you understand? Anyways, guys, what's today's episode about? Coronavirus has been killing the whole world. Do you understand? But for the first time in history, disease did not start in Africa. It started in another continent. But then, <laughs> one African nation now said they by themselves want the disease to ravage their whole country. Kenya is the only country in the world that is allowing planes from China to land. What are we saying? What are we doing? Why are we like this in Africa? But before I get into that, welcome back. So what was I saying before? I was telling you that um, Kenya has been allowing Planes from China land in their country. Actually, the thing is, every country has been trying to get back their citizens that were in China back home in their respective places, respective countries, except Trump, who says, oh, they should just put, leave the United States citizens in quarantine in, you know, Asia, where they are, but make sure that the United States government or the embassy is taking care of them. However, every other country has been trying to repatriate and bring back their citizens and not letting their citizens die. And especially the ones who are not infected, they've been trying to bring them here, you know, take, bring them back home, you know, taking proper measures. But Kenya says, you know what? Kenyan citizens in China, in everywhere that, you know, Corona has broken out. Peace out, guys. Um, we'll see you guys later. If you survive, good. If you don't, may your soul rest in peace. Okay, so on this side, we've been getting lots of updates from the Kenyan government. Have you heard anything from them? When was the last time you got direct communication from the Kenyan government? Uh, the last time I had direct communication from the government was uh, maybe a week and a half ago when uh, the ambassador called. Uh, the rest of the time we are getting news from uh, either social media or getting news from uh, the media houses who are actually notifying us what the government is doing. But the government is not reaching out to us who are in Wuhan. As we speak, we know that countries like Egypt, Morocco, uh, Mauritius, etc. have evacuated their citizens in Wuhan. How does that make you feel as a Kenyan watching maybe fellow students leaving and, and you cannot? Uh, in all honesty, Mwahiga, I feel like an adopted child of Kenya. Seeing other people leave, it's very disheartening. And uh, we had a promise that we'll be evacuated only to wake up the next day for a press briefing that we actually got to know about from uh, the different people on social media, mm -hmm. where it was stated, just stay in Wuhan. So Kenya was just one of those countries that just, you know, abandoned their citizens. Then, goes ahead. I mean, if you're saying that your excuse is that you don't want the virus to get into the continent or get into the country, then you should ground all planes, all movements, all cargoes, all shipments from coronavirus um, infested countries. But no, Kenya says, you know what? Chinese citizens are actually more valuable than our entire country. Please, we would like you to land. A lot of countries, a lot of you know, nations are grounding planes from China. I mean, in Nigeria now, um, no shipments, no planes from China. China is landing. But Kenya literally allowed a plane from China land with Chinese citizens. And we've seen some of those videos where Chinese citizens are literally spreading the virus knowingly, on purpose, spreading the virus wickedly, spewing their internal fluids on 
you know, public places, public handles, uh, elevator buttons, so that people will catch it. However, Kenya allows a plane to come in and then does not put the Chinese citizens in quarantine or take any measure to make sure that these guys are not infected. They don't even give them a temperature check. I mean, the least you could do is make sure that their temperature is okay. No, they didn't do that. They now told the Chinese citizens to make sure that they self-quarantine. What kind of nonsense? What kind of stupid joke? What kind of madness is self-quarantine? What kind of rubbish is self-quarantine? Coronavirus is a serious pandemic. It is a serious problem in the, in the world today. But now we have a country where we are allowing a plane from China, direct flight from China, coming into our country. The biggest show of incompetence and ineptitude on a part of a government is not being able to protect its citizens. Here are a couple of tweets that I saw that was already making rounds on Twitter. We have clowns at the top. The government can allow the Chinese to jet into our country and to make matters worse. They are told to self-quarantine while we have Kenyan stock in China and the government seems unconcerned this ass licking is dense. Felix says, in the wake of the Ebola pandemic, all flights to West Africa were cancelled. What is it in China that is more valuable than, than our health? Uhuru Muiga, Kenyatta, where are you doing? What are you doing? Just imagine China with all the first class resources. They haven't managed to contain the virus from spreading for a whole two months. Now, imagine how long it will take Kenya. How long Nairobi will be a ghost town. How bad the economy will hit us. Scary. To be honest, like, it's scary to imagine that countries that have all the resources, all the wherewithals, all the emergency units, all the... All that they require, to be honest, to stop something like this from getting out of hand are failing. Then a country, an African country, a third world country that has limited resources, no management systems in place, bad government and bad, you know, political, you know, um, leaders making poor choices, allowing this kind of virus to come into the country. Safiu said, Chinese don't believe in God. Kenyans. We are strong believers in God. Nothing will happen to us. Whatever is found in heaven and on earth would survive because... Yeah, I didn't get the whole of that tweet. Mitch Kito says, Kenyan students are stuck in China. The task force saying they can't be brought back because of risks in infection. Yet, a plane carrying 239 people from second most hit region in China is allowed in. Most of them being Chinese. We are all dead. We are all dead. Other countries have imposed travel bans, visa restrictions, and suspended flights to and from China. But Kenya will let them in like nonsense. What is, what is the problem with us, really? What is the problem with us? Joanne says, this country can drive you bonkers. The ineptitude of the Kenyan government regarding the coronavirus, Ken in coronavirus Kenya is ridiculous. And what on earth is self-quarantine? Can somebody explain to me what self-quarantine means? What is this insatiable financial drive that blinds us from protecting the lives and health of Kenyans? Kamjuru says, please, just ask him, how will Kenya treat coronavirus? If even major hospital hospitals patients are sharing beard, coronavirus, this is Homa Bay Referral Hospital. I wish I could show you the hospital toilets. Government, share, share, share. I think I just read rubbish, but yeah. Somebody replied at Blake and was like, no, <laughs> those are pictures from Congo. However, your questions are still valid. Himutai, a reckless government that does not care about its people and always putting them in danger, let alone leaving its people in Wuhan to die and now letting coronavirus to kill us too? South China Southern Airliner from Guangdong, hotbed with second most infections in China, landing in Kenya today. CCP has control of Kenyan government. Reckless behavior from the Chinese communists. Africa can't protect itself from this kind of virus. Hit mountain, hit mountain, bad mountain, bad mountain, hit mountain, hit mountain. Wabebe, still oh, wabebe was here. Wabebe, still oh. First of all, the picture I see here is a white guy. 
You saying Africa cannot protect itself from this kind of virus, bruh. You're right, but you don't have the right to tell us what or what we can do and what we can do. Who told you we can't protect ourselves? Are you God? Are you the one who has the money in our in our pockets? Are you the one that has the bank? Who told you we can't protect ourselves? Is it not us that first uh, uh, got rid of Ebola? Anyways, you're right. But just because you're white, I'm just like, you guys caused this anyway. This is a picture of <laughs> somebody seeing a Chinese guy in a Kenyan car, in, in, a, in, a, in a Kenyan guy's car with his, you know, mask over his, over his nose. And somebody was like, it's about to go down, eh? Wait for it. Wait for it. Somebody else says, it is now safe to think that money is overrated. They are well into self-quarantine. Where is Mohe Kenya? Self-quarantined indeed. Kiprotich says, all this because of some loan they gave us? Have we sold ourselves an all sense of self-preservation? So apparently, China gave Kenya a loan. And maybe for some capital-intensive project or whatever, maybe to run the country, but this has now somehow made the Kenyan government subservient to the Chinese government. The Chinese government has impeded on the sovereignty of Kenya. You, you have seen Chinese people yeah. beating our people in Nairobi. Yeah, and by the way, I said, don't, don't try this one here. No, it yeah? will not be happened here. Yeah. If you try here, you'll be in trouble. That you can ask the detail here. No one will ask. Because that. we know we, we know we owe you money. Yeah. Because as, as a country, we owe China money. But you don't have to beat us because we know so many other people money. Yeah. We even, never even here in the kiosk, we have debt, yeah. and nobody is beating us. So the Chinese people should not beat our view because people are saying that because of that loan, their politicians can't say no to China. And China has to protect their interests, so maybe they've sent in loans, but they do have to also um, make sure that their money is well managed, or maybe the projects that they're doing here, they do have to send manpower. But I mean, the government has the right to say, for a while, please, can we lay back, can we put a hold on whatever projects we're working on, can you guys just chill? Um, but no, they can't do that, because, I mean, and that's the reason why I feel so, I feel icky, and I feel... Nigeria is in a whole lot of mess because we've collected money from everybody. We beg for money from France, we collect money from Germany, we've gone to beg money from Russia, we've collected money from USA, we've collected money from the IMF, International Monetary Fund, we've collected money from the World Bank, we've collected loans from every damn place. We've even collected money from China. Hey, God, oh. God, oh. God, oh. All these bloods, they are sharing. And that loan is holding us hostage, never benefited us in any way. Just while responding says, Uhuru's government is a total failure. Somebody says, your vote, sir. Your vote is representing you. Yeah. <laughs> we want a share of Corona aid money. As a government, we are determined to make sure it enters Kenya. Oh my God, this is a whole total new, like, angle here. So you do know that sometimes when governments, when countries are suffering from you know, a world epidemic, they get AIDS, they get funds, they get monies from these big countries or from United Nations. So, it could be that Kenya is like, Aha, we want some of that money, we want some of that coronavirus aid, so that they can enter the pockets of some people. Hello. Oh, uh, Kenyans, please, I heard that, um, what do they call that? Chloroquine is the cure for coronavirus. Apparently, coronavirus, I think, I'm not sure, tried to enter Nigeria. Or a Nigerian got coronavirus, but survived because <laughs> since he was a kid, they pumped him with chloroquine. And now they found out that chloroquine is a huge factor, plays a huge factor in people surviving coronavirus. So with the African blood, you know, it do allow us to succeed in life sometimes. The problem is that all you do is make noise on Twitter and hope some, somebody does something. The last time people tried to stop this government, they were branded all sorts of names that became stupid. But now I truly miss that kind of fight. It worked because that's the only way we were heard. Geoffrey said, you voted for this regime, eh? You voted in 2003 and two times in 2017. Regina says, as I mentioned, someone as I mentioned, someone is stepping all over our sovereignty. Fear looms. Fear looms in, fear chaos win. 
Fear looms in fear, chaos win. This government won't protect its own people. Maybe just because it's time we protected ourselves. We must demand as a people. We must fight. Brahan says we cannot fight on Twitter. Try this on the streets. That's when you know you are owned by the government. So Waller is putting the picture of Mel Gibson talking to Jesus and begging Jesus that, but honestly, would you please come and have a talk with the Kenyan government, sir? Jesus, you know. You see now they are importing even diseases which they don't understand their roots in the country. Real location says the Kenyan government, the Kenyan lawmakers should be given a study trip to China to learn about Corona. <laughs> he says, this is the ideal time to fly. <laughs> so much to learn, so much. And they should be given one month accommodation. <laughs> By the time they finish learning and understanding the virus, nobody will come back here to plague us with bad decisions. Dan Dan says, why do you think we cannot feed ourselves? Because this country is full of fools. To the point where they are leading us. To be honest, I think the worst situation in any nation is that the government offices are like filled up and led by fools. Like, but Solomon did say that in his wisdom and in his time on earth, he has seen princes walk on the streets and servants ride on horses. Court says Saudi Arabia is one of the richest countries in the world, yet it is not letting in flights from countries with coronavirus outbreak. Kenya, a country which can't feed itself, is welcoming people from all over China, including Wuhan, without quarantining them. If we don't take care, corruption will wipe us all. Like, seeing these tweets, I'm just like, ah, God, it's not only Nigeria that is like... It's not only Nigeria that has these kind of issues, but like, why, why must Africa be like this though? Why must our own be different? Like, why are we like this? Government does not even pretend to care for the citizens. They don't pretend anymore. Jaloka says, I mean, you live your whole life using condoms to evade HIV virus. And then an irresponsible government brings you coronavirus. Some things just catch my mouth zero. La Joka says, he who pays the piper calls the tune. The loans and debts come at a price. And I do believe that. And, I do, and that's why a lot of countries, a lot of African countries need to be wary, very wary of getting loans and monies from these countries. And these, I don't think any of them want our good. No, they want to keep us oppressed. They want to keep the nations oppressed. That's the goal. If you are in Kenya right now, or if you are in a country that is coronavirus infested, please, these are some of the measure, measures that you can take. Avoid direct contact with eyes, nose, mouth, and hands. Avoid shaking hands and hugging. Oh, this, oh my God. Avoid closing contact, avoid close contact with sick people and other tools. So if a sick person has touched a tool, please don't touch it, no matter what, even if it's not coronavirus, for now, just free. Avoid contact with live animals, and especially animals that look sick. Please, the virus can be contacted, can be, you know, transmitted through animals too. Avoid undercooking meats, eggs, and raw fruits. Avoid undercooking. All of you that you will go to a restaurant, do say rare, semi-rare, or what? Please, my dear, take fully cooked. Don't eat rare, medium rare, semi-rare. Mm, I'm warning you now, cook your food at home well. Do not share eating utensils, cups, and towels. Yes, 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 please. Don't share cups, don't share drinks. Murono says, Dettol products have been scientifically proven to kill coronavirus, especially the spray. <laughs> Operation Sledgehammer says, I feel like we should stand for ourselves and smoke the Chinese out. Let's just go out on the streets, carry some guns, shoot these mofos if we see a Chinese guy, take him down. Leaders are trading us for US and European aid. It's like, very true, very true. But how can we do this? Are we able to bring majority on board? Felix, Felix, Felix Regera, or whatever your name is, Regera. Are you kidding me? Are you actually willing to go out and kill Chinese people? Like you want to go out and start literally putting bullets in people's heads? Come on, bro. Come on. What's happening here? Like I have this on record, guys. I'm afraid God may opt not to help us on this because our government doesn't care. 
we must take precautions first before telling God to protect us. Wow. Poses, Felix goes back and says, poses a big question here. What are we going to do? People entrusted on our safety don't even care. It's overwhelming. Sultan says, only complaints won't solve the problem. Let's organize some strike or something to really show we are concerned. Felix goes back, correct. Well, people out here are cowards. Absolutely. Felix, I really feel like... Felix and um, Sledgehammer, I really, really feel like you guys need to calm down. Please, violence is not the way. Do not kill anybody on the streets. Don't go out and take violence or don't take laws into your hands. Do not shoot a Chinese person. That's murder. That's murder. <coughs> but to be honest, I don't know what the game is like. What is, the Chi what is the Kenyan government trying to play at? What is the Chinese government trying to play at? However, it may seem that the Chinese government tried and made sure that this virus did not leave with the plane. So maybe they fully like sterilized the plane, <coughs> made sure none of the people who came in were infected. But at the end of the day, it's still reckless. It is reckless. At least the least you can say about this is that it's reckless. I don't know what to say to the to the Kenyan government. I mean, if you're willing to put your people, yourselves at risk like this, um, it says a lot about you guys. It says a lot about the way, it says a lot about the citizens that are taking this. You guys cannot take this sitting down. You guys need to go out and protest. You guys don't even, you see what? It's coronavirus. You cannot protest. You cannot go out because it's public places and that can also be harmful and dangerous. Everybody sit your ass down. When the next next vote comes vote that guy out um i really also feel like maybe some um online s signature collecting app can collect signatures of like a billion people in kenya and tell the government to stop doing what they're doing i don't know what it is but i don't even know how to even take that i need akabans banters please help me let, let's share what you guys think in the comments please reach out comment Let's know what you guys think about this. Let's know what you think the government of Kenya should do and what you think Kenyans should do about this. What do you think is the best way? Please, Kenyans, I want you guys to take care of yourselves. Please, I know a lot of Kenyans watch my vlogs. Um, I have friends there. Nick Butuma is my friend. Nick, I want you all to please take care of yourselves. Um, make sure you're indoors. Make sure you get your food packed up, stacked up at home. Don't go out. Stop shaking people. Make sure you take care of yourselves and your family. And please pray. We're praying for you, Kenya, and we pray that nothing happens to you. But as we already said, man, chloroquine not the way. Thank you guys so much for watching Akabans. Um, I, like I said, I'm waiting for your comments. Please give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And please do share my videos with your loved ones, okay? Bye.